Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called The Lion Sleeps Tonight by The Tokens. And we end up cabling this on third fret. We're going to kind of walk through some of the things in root position. And we start on a D major chord. And we play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret. The second finger on the high E second fret. And third finger on the B string third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, it sounds a D major chord. And it sounds really happy. Now, while you're on Ds in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the second finger and make that a D suspended second. Or you could have the pinky on the high and make it a D sus and kind of say some things while you're on D chords. And then from the D, we're going to be going to a G major chord. Then we play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string third fret, and third finger on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E string third. And that kind of gives you the third finger as kind of a guide finger kind of between the D and the G chord. And then from the G we go back to D, and then we go to an A major chord. We play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string second fret, and third finger on the B string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And while you're on the A's, it can be kind of cool to lift off the third finger, make that an A suspended second, or you could add the pinky on the third on the B and make it an A sus, or you could take the A major and kind of lift off the second finger and make it an A7, or you could readjust the fingers and add in the pinky on the high E third, or you could work it as an A7 sus, where you do your first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third on the B string third, pinky on the high E third, and that might kind of give you an anchor finger actually through, through the whole song, kind of working kind of that three and four on the top, actually, you can work it as a D sus to a G. But through the song, actually, it starts out with this a cappella intro, and you may want to just kind of block chords for yourself to kind of work that through that intro part. When, when, when the rhythm kind of kicks up, you could kind of do this as kind of an eight down idea, kind of on each chord, and I'm adding a little bit of right hand beating to that. So kind of an eight down idea, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D. Sometimes for a 4 4, like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you have D down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up, D down, up, up, down, up, A. D down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up, D down, up, up, down, up, A. Or a cool variation could be down, up, down. So the weird part is instead of playing uh, starting on a D chord, the tokens are actually starting on an F major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your D is really an F major chord, your G major is really a B flat major chord, and the A major is really a C major chord. But you may want to kind of kick it off with just kind of that D da 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 or you can even kind of do that eight down idea or add some beauty to that and make it a little bit sneaky. And then when it kind of gets into that main verse part, you may want to open it up to kind of do more of the down, 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 Or you can try that variation of the down, up, down, up, up, down. Or you can even mix it up between those ideas and kind of see what you can say with it. bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up or the down up down up up down up you throw in a bass for the chord so on the D you'd have a D for the bass on the G you'd have a low E for the bass and on the A you'd have an A for the bass so you could kind of try that adding basses and have a D with a D bass
but it might be kind of cool to kind of back yourself up to the song. Or if you know other strum patterns or other licks around these chords, you know, feel free to take this lesson and embellish it any way you want to. Sleeps tonight by the token. So good luck.